Ruch Blian O'Hin or an Sheo La Bialton and Nideg Fehishe, Dirak Demlina, Tresh Ayri Mach Nakaska, Bunny Ufina Fall, then a Hidze Levia Kinneri Nideg Shedeg, a Horigriach. The majority of the original members of the party played key roles in the Easter Rising, including Eamon de Valera, Sean T. O'Kelly, Thomas Derrick, James Ryan, Sean Lamas, Constance Markovich, Sean McEntee, Jerry Boland, Kathleen Clark, and Mrs. Margaret Pierce. The heroic efforts of 1916 led to the inception of the first Dáil Éireann of the sovereign Irish people in 1919. Nuar a chas an chéad Dáil a chéile ar an fithe éanú an ar Mar Nav Splach, Shakas the Parliament's Fain Real. The president of the first Dáil was Cahal Brua in Éamon de Valera's absence. One of the few 1916 leaders to have escaped execution, Dev was incarcerated in Lincoln Prison at the time. From its inaugural meeting in 1926, Fianna Fáil worked to uphold the aims of the 1916 proclamation. We declare the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland and to the unfettered control of Irish destinies to be sovereign and indefeasible. Contesting the Oath of Allegiance from the outset, Fianna Fáil said it would abolish it. In 1933, just one year after coming to power, Fianna Fáil amended the Constitution to remove Article 17, which demanded the taking of the oath. We hereby proclaim the Irish Republic as a sovereign, independent state. Fianna Fáil was responsible for drafting the Irish Constitution, which has proven to be resilient and has stood the test of time. This was the first Irish Constitution of a free Ireland ratified by the people. Extremely far-seeing for the era in which it was created, it has required very few amendments since its approval in 1937. This programme aims at restoring the unity of this island and creating an independent Ireland living its own cultural, economic and national life. Equal rights and equal opportunities to all its citizens. Fianna Fáil Minister Donna O'Malley introduced free education in the 60s. I'm a realist and I had to deal with the crying needs of our young children who thirst for education so much. Which has bettered the lives of millions of Irish citizens and has led to Ireland being recognised as one of the best educated countries globally and has been the greatest creator of opportunities for all our people. To pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation. Spearheaded by Sean Lamas, Fianna Fáil in the late 50s introduced the programmes for economic expansion which grew the domestic industry and introduced large-scale foreign direct investment into Ireland, which has had enormous significance and remains a defining feature of the Irish economy to this day. Cherishing all the children of the nation equally. The pursuit of a peaceful solution to a unified Ireland has always been of prime importance to the Fianna Fáil party with significant progress made under Taoiseachs Charles Hawhey and Albert Reynolds. The final culmination of the party's efforts was achieved under Bertie Ahern with the signing of the Good Friday Agreement in 1998, the single most important political development to date towards achieving peace. Times have changed and the Ireland of today is radically different to that in the age of our founding fathers. One thing, however, remains the same. The proclamation of 1916 still outlines the central aspirations of the Irish people and Fianna Fáil still remains committed to these aspirations. Ireland united, Ireland free, Ireland self-supporting and self-reliant, Ireland speaking her own tongue and through it giving to the world her ancient treasures of Christian Gaelic culture these are the ideals to which enthusiastic young Ireland is now devoting its energies. She are vi shagas armi nagoni ere shiachante ainte a wantamach. 
Gamme an Hailga Alert go four lahanin. Gamme Ra Agasonas in non don fobalilig.